Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to Cinema Quispier Riffs, where today we will be riffing C uh riffing American Kickboxer Uno, number one, the first one. Uh so I'm Rain Shadow, I'm joined by a few people here in the voice chat, if you wanna make yourselves known if possible. I'm in a lot of pain and very salty. I'm Mr. Uh. Ben. <laughs> I'm Jay uh, Smith. Oh, I'm Jay Smith. Let's say I actually am not very that much in a lot of pain. I'm not, just more like discomfort and irritation than anything. <laughs> Arg. He is a he's a salty squid. Let's see, and uh, Zena, you here? Allegedly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So, uh, we're all here, and today uh, we are going to be t taking a look at uh, American Kickboxer 1. If uh, I don't know how long ago it was, but we did uh, a while back on CQ Rifts. We, we watched uh, the second, the sequel to this, uh, American it's Kickboxer about, 2. It's about two years ago, I think. I think we did American Kickboxer 2 back on, or was it 2014 or was it 2015? I, I know it was in May. It, it had to be 2000. It had to be a year ago. There's no way... <laughs> Because because we weren't around in May two years ago. Oh, that's right. No, we, uh, the um, yeah, that's right. The the site w actually started in 2014 back on Father's Day. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, it must have been about a year ago. So a, a while okay. back, and I it was in my opinion, I think that was my favorite CQ riff so far. Just just to do because I mean, cause the, the my favorite thing to watch because it was just so ridiculously enjoyable. Like as a movie, it wasn't a bad. I mean, it was like a it was a bad movie, but it was very good in that it was very enjoyable just in how ridiculous it was. Let's see. I think I remember because because I, I was here for a part of it, but I wasn't able to to be there for the full thing because I was working that day. Um, and I was actually kind of upset because I really wanted to be there, but. Uh, no, I was forced to work. I think a uh, noon to midnight shift that day. Oh, fun! So much fun. <laughs> so, um, actually, anyone have anything else to add about uh, about this movie? I I have no idea what we're going into besides what <laughs> what was in the sequel. No idea how much that will or will not relate to uh, relate to this. I have no idea what we're going to be getting into either, so... Neither do I, because I didn't even... Because I think back when you guys did the first one, I wasn't on staff yet, yet and I don't think I watched the entire mo movie when you... When you did the second one, so... Yeah, it was... <laughs> if you get a chance to, go... You should watch it, uh... The, uh, the movie itself, it was... It's, it's a lot of... It was a lot of fun, so... It made I mean, more I remember... sense after the first one, though. I mean, I remember the, I remember the final scene with the guy in the wa water, and you guys were riffing, riffing on the fight when they were dragging the guy in the water. I think. Oh, there's so much good stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, you yes, it, Mister Ben. I was about to say it was released in 1991, um, and it was filmed in South Africa. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Martial arts film directed by Franz Neal and written by Emil Colby, <clears throat> based on an original story by the film's lead actor, John Barrett. Okay. Well, uh, if we all, uh, everyone has the uh, file loaded up and ready to go? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yes. Well, and then, uh, we will, let's get started. And, uh, in five... Oops, so hold on. Let me make sure I have the right source. Okay. In 1842, 37, hike! In five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, that, that started quick. Jeezy. Not even a pause. Not even like a blank pause at the beginning. That was also ridiculously quiet, too. I was going to say, is my sound not on? There. Oh, there we go. Wow. Very, very quiet. 
American Kickboxer 1. We knew there was going to be an American Kickboxer 2. It also seems to be squished to 4 3. I'm also kind of amusing at the fact that they de deliberately even titled the the uh, movie American Kickboxer 1 as if it, they knew it was going to be a sequel. <laughs> DJ Quinn, that, that that's that's obviously not a, an unfortunate name right there. Rocky Balboa, oh wait, wrong movie. Is he just flipping the audience off? Who us or the or the in movie audience? And of course, we got the obligatory trash talk, so. Seriously, who in the idea, uh, what was, who thought it was a good idea to give the male, um, you know, protagonist the name of BJ? Oh, gay. Hey, you can't have a. Uh can't have an 80s movie without some uh, boxing in it. If you change the aspect ratio to 2.35 to 1 in VLC, it looks a lot better. Thank you. Just uh, press the A key a couple times. What was it, 2.35? Looking two point three five to one. There we go, and then I gotta <clears throat> and then crap. There we go. He's heating up. He's on fire. He's kicking. He's kicking. He's kicking some more. A hook, a south hook, a west hook, an east hook. What a fight! Man, I love watching each other. He gives him a full house, a full Nelson, a half Nelson, the Aussie Nelson. Use the chair. Don't forget the fifth Nelson. The, the the rare and elusive fifth Nelson. Yes. The fifth Nelson. The what? The what? <laughs> the banshee cry. The what? <laughs> Food is fan service already. Literally wouldn't call it gratuitous, but... The real reason people what pretend to the flight. <laughs> that, that, that seriously doesn't sound like a banshee or anything. That just sounds more like he's just having a stroke. My CQ Rift folder is somehow less than my YouTube folder by a huge margin. But then again, I do have all of Barack stubs downloaded. Have you heard of that? <laughs> Actually, no. I, I don't really follow wrestling, so... Oh, um, it's this guy that takes all of the speech and footage of... Um, what's it called? Barack Obama speaking? And edits it into music?
So you have Barack Obama singing Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Nice. <laughs> you know, I, I completely forgot this movie was called American Kickboxer until right now, and I'm like, why is there all this boxing in it? I swear there wasn't that much in the in the, in the sequel. <laughs> At least not that I remember. Oh, I always get my fists and elbows confused. Two points for Biden. You you get you lose two points for Biden. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just bleeding profusely. It's okay. I'm not blinded in one eye. I can go on. Accidental. Yeah, go BJ. BJ's probably like, I could sir use a BJ right now. Uh, I wasn't going to make a big that kind of gum. Wow, this movie just got suddenly super quiet. Is there actually talking, or is it like? Uh, that like, like, sounds like a radio. It's like like no sound. Like the the sound during the fight is just like completely different from the rest of the movie. Is this a dub? I can't, I can't. This might be a dub. No, really, this sounds like a dub. Listen, look at the look at the facial movements compared to uh, when people are speaking vocally. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, this was a South African film, so. I know they do speak English down there, but they also speak a lot of other languages, too. Mainly Afrikaans, which is, a, which is one of the most bizarre-sounding mixtures of languages you will ever hear. <laughs> It is literally a mixture of African tribal languages and Dutch. Apparently they shot in South Africa because we're well known to shoot there for budgetary reasons. As far as I can tell, this isn't dubbed. I mean, it's an English film. It, says, it just says, yeah, English language. So, hmm. It might just be like bad ADR. What does ADR mean in this case? A A ADR is when you record, you know, something, you know, stuff for a movie, but you go back afterwards in editing and you re-record the dialogue like you would for voice acting in a cartoon or something like that. So you get a lot more clear dialogue than you would get if you recorded it on, on you know, on location. So you're pretty uh, much dubbing the mu movie in the same language with the same actors, but it's just to get a better quality of the dialogue than you would be able to get in the uh, location you're recording from. But if you do that and you do it poorly, <laughs> then uh, it can look weird. Like this? Oh man, BJ's getting rock hard. God damn it, Rain Shadow! No, <laughs> too easy to set up those kind of jokes with a name like that. Oh and no! And someone goes. Not the hors d'oeuvres! No, not all the hors d'oeuvres and the wine! Oh yeah, and this guy's bull- Okay. So... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dear for Christ's sake, get, get a, a doctor! Get a doctor for Christ's sake! Did I say get a doctor? That looks like he said something about a monkey. 
No, if you look at the mouth movements, it totally, he said monkey. I'm sorry, but the guy that was just walking in the background there in this scene, he looks like a Colonel Sanders without the, without the goatee. <laughs> I was trying, I'm trying to think of a Sanders joke. You know, I can think of a joke. 2016 Rio Olympics. Ha! <laughs> but actually. <laughs> oh, that's... That's that, that's probably the biggest joke of all. Uh, he's dead, Joe. Uh, I think he's dead. No words? Wow, that guy is a fucking stone cold, cold killer. He's a champion killer. What was the, what, why was the point of getting no. the newspaper out if you're just going to look at the headline and just punch it and lay it back on top? You could see the headline through the window on the front. Oh, no, man. you need to give money to the newspaper companies or they'll die off. No. You see, it's subliminal, it's subliminal messaging to support the newspaper industry. <laughs> I'm glad to see it worked. Because he couldn't put... Punch the paper itself if he if he just ran it through the glass. He could have punched it through the fucking glass. <laughs> oh yeah, that yeah. Man, look at this guy. Oh, his shades are off. Serious business time. Oh my gosh, this. Sir, sir, stick to the facts. BJ Hard. I will say when I when I go, going into American Kickboxer one here, I was not expecting a prolonged court scene. I was not expecting Law and Order. Yeah, this is dubbed, or the audio sync is way off. It's probably bad dubbing, and the audio sync's probably off a little too. Okay, because that's like not just like really bothering me; it's really bothering me. It makes this movie, like, hard to watch, but amusingly bad, but hard to watch. <laughs> Sexy. I'm being in, a, I'm being in this movie.
Not my martial arts. It's not like I didn't fight the guys here. <laughs> Well, that was a past 10 months. And we're spared of this being a prison film. Did they pull out? He winds up kidding someone with the car and winds up going back to jail for another ten for another twelve months. <laughs> twelve months later. The end. Oh, okay. More fan service, apparently. I always stand by my giant fish tank with my, you know, boxers on and my genitals just pressed up against the fish. It's only fan service to women. I'm just gonna walk around my underwear the whole movie. Should have called this movie American Underwear Model. No, not right now. See, this is why you shouldn't name your 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 you know kids BJ because then you have guys saying, "Hey, BJ." I don't know what was just thrown, but it definitely hit the camera. <laughs> When I say international, these boxers are coming from all over the world. Or at least so, the actors from other nationalities that we could hire. Call, call me when it's call me when it's an intergalactical. This guy doesn't seem slimy at all. (laughs) 
ass whooping. Hard-hitting journalism. <laughs> so, didn't the sequel have, like, a ton of choppers and gunfighting and action scenes? There were there were actually two sequels to the film. The official American Kickboxer Two is actually just a sequel in name only, so it, it really has nothing to do with the uh, story that this is showing right now. Actually, apparently, there is a true sequel to this film, but it's entitled "To the Death." Because that makes sense. So I bet you picked this going in, then we were going to have all that over top of the top ridiculous we we saw in the second movie. Me pictures, pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> Looking it up, uh, despite the, the name American Kickboxer 2 actually has no relation to American Kickboxer 1. Wrecked. Can we get some of those bikini girls from the montage we just saw to spar with us? Gonna need a montage. Overdub, this was like the punch out theme here. <laughs> Overweight African American overweight African-American stealing someone's bike as well on top of that. American, you know, he just, he's just not overweight now. Uh, I love that I got these Bluetooth headphones. I keep my headphones in while I move around my room. Yeah, it's not. <coughs> let's kick, let's cut the bullshit. You all suck. A train man. <coughs> 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 
you know, work out on your own a little bit. BJ's don't work alone. <laughs> Say, first you want me to leave, now you want me to stay. Make up your damn mind, you old man. Oh man, nice text. You're ready to fight now. <laughs> I'd love to see kickboxing in Texas. Yeah, it's a formal match. <laughs> Okay, BJ, time for your scrub down. <laughs> Chad. I want a shirt that just says Chad on it. I closed the locker with my head. This is my extreme way of closing it. Closing it the normal way is for sissies. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Thanks, Joker. Guy Killed is so it with that over joke. The top, like an ass. Mm. Go for the mullet. Go for the mullet. That was nowhere close to his head. <laughs> Yay, brain damage. and he's not introduced with bagpipes? Oh, come on, man. Or he doesn't come in with the bagpipes. Yeah. <laughs> Kick me! Jeez, what do you have? Freaking knives in your feet? That's a nice groin kicker. <laughs> yeah. I'm the middle like sham. I can pull that shit. <laughs> he almost was teabagging him there. You can't hit me. I'm gonna hit myself. Huh. The hell is this Scotland guy from like is he like Glaswegian or something? <laughs> the fuck is he even doing? I'll just pointlessly pose to show how much of a douchey fighter I am. <laughs> oh hey, did you guys realize I'm a big douche? Let me let me make sure you know. You're 
dead. He killed a man. Woo. Go, go, Chow Jin, deliver my Panda Express. Mm, I, oh, man, I haven't had Panda Express in, like, months. Oh, oh snap. An F-bomb. Another F-bomb. Oh, S-bomb. BJ's going to open a can of whoop-ass. <laughs> no, BJ's going to blow him away. Right. This guy doesn't like wearing shirts that often, does he? I guess if I looked like that, I wouldn't either. I said, what you said? He said, I said, what is it? I'm gonna knock your head off. Let me take your damn newspaper. Pay me 10 bucks so I saw nothing. Man, I. Mm, mm, this toothpick is so delicious. <laughs> Gotta train hard. Uh, <laughs> Kick that tree. Mm. Oh, wow. He found Cam Camelot. That was a weird camera shot. Let's just put the camera on the plate for this one half second shot. My training method says I run and I punch trees. It's the, uh, it's the Minecraft rule of training. Okay. That I killed a guy. I've been barred from my favorite sport, and everyone's giving me a bunch of shit. Yeah, I have nothing to talk about. Nah. Mm. Nah. Move your feet. Gosh, don't be a dick, BJ. Oh my god, Rachel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who just comes up uh, from behind someone? Yo, sailor. They're playing Shenmue 2 here. BJ has been seen going in and out of chat, okay.
<laughs> Skirt versus Disco Kid. I'm going to watch you on TV, but I'm actually going to go there. Yeah, it was too cheap to buy the ticket. <laughs> Have you seen those Ticketmaster add-ons, man? Charge you at the nose. Yeah, hit me in the face. Hit me more. Hit me. Come on. Give that fucking hit me harder in the face. Wimp. Nothing. I feel no pain. Draw oh, me more. Turns me on. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Oh, come on. Where are you going to actually start hitting me, man? for this BJ is just getting more and more violent. <laughs> what? Take him down. kicking each other to the music. I keep thinking he's like in like a ballerina tutu. I'll be right back. Gotta go get my lunch. He just keeps like getting away with the same exact thing at like every single match. I have to say though, this movie is really like it's not boring. It's just hard to watch. <laughs> yeah, I spit on you. I spit on you like I'm going like I'm going to spit on you and then I'll spit on your grave after I killed you. Bastard. You got your ass kicked, son. Was an isolated incident that's only happened three times in this movie so far. Oh. 
I'm walking here. No, those shades. You know that scene, uh, the famous I'm walking here scene uh, was never actually scripted, and the actors didn't know they were being filmed? Huh. I did not know that. They were just told to uh, act in character, to just be in character and just walk down the street. It's the easiest way to film stuff. <laughs> and the one scat ran over and he was like, hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> yeah. Before he makes a scene. Oh, he's gonna make a scene. It's party time. Party man is here. What is he going to do? He never said he wasn't going to cause trouble. He wants to cause some trouble. You got trouble right there in River City. Let it go, come on. You, you heard what Elsa said. Conclusion. The writers of this movie are time travelers. I can I can believe it. Oh, oh. in the pool. In the pool. Oh. Oh it's got wrecked, son. I mean, yeah, it's all over you. Double in the pool. The moment we've been waiting for. Six hundred dollar suits, dude. <laughs> Chair. <laughs> You're but it's not chair. Brent Spiner in the pool. It goes a second chair. And then he runs into the background, chase the camera out. Of that. Gets the camera out of that guy's hands. Run away! Run away! My boyfriend's only getting his ass kicked. Fuck this. 2J. Oh my gosh, this is the most cliche music ever. Oh man. Wait, are we having a flashback to just like, like a minute ago? <laughs> the pad, the moon, yeah, with this stuff we've already seen. In case you fell asleep in the first half of the movie, here's a quick recap. Can you give me a ride? I swear I won't punch you in the face. Thanks.
Hi, I'm Dory. Swimming, just keep swimming. Dory okay. needs fixing. Fixing. They know they're so, so, suddenly going to turn to finding Dory. Shouldn't even work ten. I can't do a, I can't do that over Who the left time. him? I'm glad the camera stopped oh to pause on that guy's bulge. <laughs> they wanted to signify hey, they enjoy looking at all those limbs. Uh, <laughs> I, I really thought that was a basketball until he picked it up and it wasn't round. <laughs> Had a cameo in this movie. Oh, sweet. Another montage of him, like, fixing the house. It's a metaphor for him fixing his mind. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Uh, the plants now. Bob B the Builder. BJ got some pussy too. Bob the Builder. <laughs> this music is so great. He's gonna punch some stuff. Every man should die. He's a man. That does not look safe at all. How did you wait? How did you get up there? That bridge doesn't lead anywhere. Nice tie. Then they make a montage of him trying to get on the get onto that bridge. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was somebody's story, and I realized, oh, wait, man, it's not in here. <laughs> Tim, oh my god. This almost feels like Phoenix Wright. Fuck you, kids. Man, everyone's enjoying this. Oh, it's the, the perfect Look. music for boxing. Those tryhards in the background. 
Yeah, let's play this music like, when they get to the big fight at the end of the movie. Ah, uh, everyone loves yoga. Come on, kids, stop playing in the sand. Do some yoga. Stupid kids. Go talk by these giant furnaces. Oh my god, that cut like what is weird? Why don't you, it's like, why don't you watch, come watch me teach a class? And it had already cut to the next scene before he finished talking about the next scene. You're gonna kick him right in the genitals, really hard. Make sure you do it a little low so it hits the balls. Genitalia. But all and remember, kids, when all else fails, go for the great shot. That's that's the secret to boxing, right there. I learned to kick people in the crotch today. Let me try it on you. <laughs> Happy birthday. That dish really walks the house, man. Oh, 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 oh. oh you. American drinking game on. Mmm. Yeah, fuck these cards. I, I, I would prefer game. you don't. That that seems like a very uncomfortable thing to do. I'm chewing on a chewing on a toothpick like I always do. A lot of duct tape. <laughs> Adrian. When I find Judd, I'm going to kick his ass so hard. Jay Smith, that was perfect timing. <laughs> need some, need some door locks.
That guy looks like a South African Adam Sandler. <laughs> except with more hair. <laughs> Doesn't he, though? He looks like... Actually... Gosh, it's, it's like someone else, too. Adam Sandler and, like, uh... Sort of like a mix of Adam Sandler and Seth Green. Actually, you know who he looks like? He he looks like the uh, the guy who played Mark in The Room. The fact that they're throwing footballs around that made you come to that conclusion. Oh yes, the the good old candlelight boxing match. That's Use the candle. Kind of off. A little bit of dentistry. Let's <laughs> say here. You tell me. Dained. Hug it out. <laughs> How do I use phone again? Oh yeah, I dial it. back when everyone read the paper. Lots of shades. So cool.
It doesn't make it a championship. It looks like Rolling Rock with a unicorn. So does that imply that unicorns are Rolling Rock? <laughs> it's the beer of Equestria. How many toothpicks does this guy go through on an average day? No. It looks like a small ass lighthouse, but it's just in the back. Oh, yes. Some deep thought music. Just what we need. Is that guy naked? The most literal song ever. I play this song during a sex scene. Ooh. That would make it totally awkward. Hammock sex. Still mess though. Implications. Oh, nice. He's pre he's pre practicing his ball kicking. Yeah, yeah, he better have his ball kicking down now for when he finally actually gets it. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Any girlfriend at all? Never gonna let you down. Look at his shirt. <laughs> Freedom! It's the most American shirt ever.
Harder! Hit me! Mmm, rum. The man who feels no pain. Like, seriously, what the fuck? little baby oh baby 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 thought you would always be mine mine Enter. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Fuck your pen. Just a prank, bro. Fuck, he actually took a toothpick out of his mouth once. Oh man, that's a fat cloud. That's actually like really hard to, to, to do. Totally not like the montage strings. Totally, totally not unlike all the montage sequences in Rocky. This movie is totally not ripping off any movie that may, might be named Rocky. Yeah. Do it. More training montages. Slaughter. Multi kill. Triple kill. Ultra kill. Unstoppable. Over. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So this time he doesn't even have pants on. He's just, you know, it's just a towel. You know, you know, you know what they say, right? You can pants if you want to.
Well, if your friends uh, don't pants, then they're no friends of mine. I need suggestions for a, a name for a program. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's like the entire second half of this movie is just like 90% training montage broken up by like a minute of dialogue each time. Amer American training montage. The <laughs> American training montage. The movie. <laughs> That's what Jay Smith said, but I think Thanks. he got cut off. Thanks, random bad cheerleaders. And and before Denard just gets on the stage and just punches all the cheerleaders. What did he say? Here's my butt, yeah. Wow. Wow, what a... Hey, Dick, wait, there's BJ. And then they, and then they interrupt the five for even more training montages. Jack Ashtonar, that's more appropriate name for him. Here we go, folks. This is it's all led up to this. Considering we only have almost like ten minutes left in the movie, this is probably gonna be a short fight. <laughs> He just walks up to him and just punches him once and knocks him out. <laughs> You're funny, ref. Here we go. And Denard is just hitting himself on the head over and over. He's doing all the work for him. There's the general shot. Let me at him. Punch the ref out. <laughs> ah, ah, must fight, must fight. That was winning the first round. <laughs> he punches the lady hitting hitting the two guard. In the corner. Yeah. Bang him! Bang him! Bang him! Bang him! <laughs> Come on, BJ! Bang, bang, bang him! Bang him! Bang him, bang, him. bang him and then live up to your name and BJ him. Whoa, Jay Smith! <laughs> Savage as fuck, man. So now is he going to go all Mike Tyson on him? Hmm. You know, hmm. because I play, because I beat I Want to Be the Guy, whenever I hear of Mike Tyson, I just think of Mike Tyson and I Want to Be the Guy. And it's just like this <laughs> frustrating hell of a boss fight. And yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Slow motion. No, BJ. Stop taking it. Why were you coming out? I was standing up. B 
Beginning of the end. Beginning of the end. Today's number is three. It's like a fly by like a mosquito. Come on, kick him in the penis. Yeah, put oh, he's giving him a bear hug. Aw. Yeah, put all that ball kicking you did with your walk I to use, man. Four. That's what your mom said last night. He fights by his own rules. And the rough is down. Use the chair. PK. PK. Star Storm. <laughs> oh, look, the paper. <laughs> and the crowd wants blood. Punch, 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 punch. Get up, up to serve the drama. Punch, punch, headbutt. Oh, yeah, just, just let him back you into the, the side again. He's gaining strength. First he'll beat him and then he will consume his soul. Quinn mad. Oh, snap. <laughs> hey, Grandma's really into that. What the fuck? 
Fuck. This, this fight turned around pretty quickly. What? Yeah, the oh. taunts. So ju ju I love you, man. I've always loved you. <laughs> Right in the gut. It's in a row. I keep showing all these people talking, but there's no dialogue. <laughs> if there's no dialogue, it means he hit his ear so hard enough. He must be deaf. Good going. Hit me again. Oh. Oh, that look. <laughs> oh. Oh, stay <laughs> That was the best fall ever. Oh. Eight. Yay! The douche is dead. I know what. Everyone celebrate. Because everyone hated him. Oh snap! He's, he just got wrecked! <laughs> well, I'm glad they kind of just like punched that journalist at the end. Is there gonna be credits or are we just gonna. They're, oh, there this, they are, okay. This, fi this final shot I totally isn't in, in resembling anything from Rocky. Turn that down a little bit. Well, uh, that was American Kickboxer 1. With with the 1. <laughs> Not to be confused with the... See, the, the, that's so confusing because they did American Kickboxer 1. With the 1, which says they're going to have a sequel. But then they have American Kickboxer 2, which has nothing to do with American Kickboxer 1. And then they have another movie that's called something different, which is actually the sequel to this. Even though this is called American Kickboxer 1. <laughs> I, I saw that. Uh, and apparently my... Everything got closed out. Uh, and... Give me a second to pull that back up. So that wasn't, I mean, that wasn't that bad of a movie, actually. I mean, it was incredibly, you know, generic 80s, early 90s, you know, act, you know, kind of boxing kind of movie, you know, that's obviously taking a lot of hints from like Rocky and stuff. But I mean, it wasn't like a necessarily a bad movie. It definitely was nowhere near as enjoy as just utterly enjoyable as the, uh, as this American Kickboxer Boxer 2 was, which I guess can't... It blows my mind how different these two movies are, where this one is, like, literally a movie about kickboxing, and this, the other, the second one was just, like, some out-of-control, crazy, like, fighting terrorists with, like, yeah, this talkers and stuff. Yeah, this was about a cop who was forced to team up with his ex-wife's former boyfriend, which was a martial arts instructor, to save said ex-wife's daughter. Uh, and this one was just like you said, just a generic kickboxing one. Now, the true sequel to this film, there is a true sequel that, like I mentioned before, is uh, titled To the Death, which was death. directed by Daryl Root and also featured John Barrett, has the newly titled Rick Quinn and uh, Michael Kissy. <laughs> wait, 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 he wasn't called BJ anymore? No, yeah, he's not. <laughs> it's kind of funny because, uh, because John Barrett is like you know jb you know the flipped initials over than bj so yeah but american kickboxer three as well uh and that was actually in like the was it wait there was the american kickboxer three was that like actually in a, a, like a, a sequel to the actual storyline of from kickboxer one or was that a sequel to american kickboxer two 
I don't know. I'm, I'm looking now. That, that's uh, weird. Yeah. I guess the, the story of his weird sequels just continues to unfold here. Kickboxer 3 doesn't specifically say uh, American, but Kickboxer 3, 1992, direct-to-video martial arts film directed by Eric King is third in the Kickboxer film series with only Sasha Mitchell and Dennis Chan returning from the previous films. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really give me a whole lot. It just says film was not really received well by critics. <laughs> Neither was this one. <laughs> That sounds like that might be a decent film for the, the next uh, CQ roast at some point. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, where's, where's American King? Number four. Just let me see. 3.8 out of 10 on IMDb for Kickboxer 3. Number four was... 1994 direct video. Where, where is I can't even find American Kickboxer three on IMDb. Where are you looking? Uh, listed as American. It's just listed as Kickboxer three. Oh, okay. Let me remove American. Then. <laughs> so we they, they it's just Kick Kickboxer three. Even put American on there, yeah. But it is part of the American Kickboxer series. I wonder if this there, there's one there's a movie that's releasing in. This year in August, called Kickboxer Vengeance. I wonder if that has anything to do with this, with this uh, thing. I'm trying to look at the name. Well, the names don't seem to have any relation, so probably not. But there is a movie releasing this year called Kickboxer Vengeance. So yeah, there is wait, Kickboxer. What? Wait, what is this? No, I think that's a different movie, Mr. Ben. American Kickboxer is a different... Kickboxer is a different movie from American Kickboxer. Because there is a movie that came out um, st uh, starring uh, Jean-Claude uh, Jean, uh, Jean Van Damme in 1989 but, called Kickboxer. Yeah, the, so yeah I think Kickboxer, I'm looking at yeah. And then there's a Kickboxer 2, The Road Back. And then Kickboxer 3, The Art of War. And Kickboxer 4, The Aggressor. So that must be a different... That's a different line of sequels than American American Kickboxer. I'm uh, yeah, I'm I'm probably confused then because I, I was looking because I, I put American Kickboxer three and it just came up as Kickboxer three. So yeah, I'm probably wrong on that one. I don't so, know. Yeah, that's, that's a different. Yeah, like a different yeah you're movies, right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, because I'm looking on uh, Wikipedia and uh, it's yeah, Kickboxer two, the road back, Kickboxer three, the art. So yeah, you, you're you're right. This is completely different. I was confused when I saw that there was also a Kickboxer two. I'm like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? There, there, there's actually five kickboxers. Uh, there was the original 1989, then like four sequels, and then Kickboxer yeah. Vengeance is a reboot. Yeah, so that must so. be the, the, that series. So, 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 gosh, I, I just can't believe I, I, how different this movie was from from American Kickboxer 2. It's, it's just like, oh my gosh. It had literally nothing to do with it except the title. So, uh, oops. Oops. so yeah, I guess any, uh, any final thoughts on, uh, on Kickboxer 1? Six here? out of ten would, could watch again. <laughs> Finally, we went in thinking it was going to be over the top action craziness like the second one. And so we got this. Yeah, it wasn't exactly what I was what I was expecting. Uh, expecting from I wasn't expecting like a legitimate like kickboxing movie. Uh, yeah, and like I said, it was it's it wasn't necessarily it's generic, but it wasn't really a horrible movie. It wasn't really something that was entirely riffable. Just because it you know it wasn't like the second movie was, where the second movie was extremely riffable. <laughs> like yeah, I was. I didn't really know what to say a lot of the time. I mean, I I just really wasn't able to come up with a lot of jokes, or hell, you really anything to comment on. 
Yeah, I mean, because it was, you know, it was kind of, you know, a serious movie, you know, compared to the second one, where it was really over-the-top ridiculous. So, uh, I don't really, I don't really have anything else to say <laughs> about it either. It was, it was a movie about kickboxing and had, had, you know, had a BJ. And a ton, and a ton of montages. Yeah, yeah, God, the whole second half. That's the, that's probably like the main thing I can not get this movie for was just like how the entire second half of the movie was just montage after montage after montage with maybe like a minute break in between each one for a little bit of dialogue. <laughs> Montages. Gonna need a montage. Oh gosh. Well, I guess we gotta pick what uh, what everyone's gonna be watching next week for CQ Riffs here. Uh, gosh, let's see. Okay, well, I can delete American Kickboxer. We've done that now. Um, gosh, what is even next week here? Uh, There's one cartoon I saw on Netflix. I don't think about. I, I don't know if I want to exactly do it next week, but I want to add it to the list. It's a. It's this older cartoon I saw. It's called The Day My Butt Went Psycho, and it's a bad. Apparently about this alternate world where everybody's butts become detached as for people and they grow arms and legs and they, they're, they're living their own society. <laughs> that sounds weird. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, trying to see if there's, gosh, anything that... Uh, Anything here that we want to do? Try to look at some of the older ones here that have been on here for a while. Hmm. Master of Disguise. That's been on here for a while. Uh, the ones that we had on there's like since the beginning practically yeah. well, I'm gonna remove super doomer super duper sumo as we tried to try to look at that and we couldn't actually find that anywhere I'm just gonna take that off the list uh, Matt did say he he wanted to he's gonna desperately still hunt down super duper was because he desperately wants us to do that one day <laughs> But that's yeah, that's gonna be hard to find. Uh oops. Oh my god. Oh I know what that is. Uh no, it's not the uh Anyone else have any ideas? I was kind of looking through some of the older ones. I wasn't sure if anyone had any anything specifically they've been wanting to do. Uh, it's not really anything next week, like theme-wise, I can think of that would that we could uh, we could do. Uh, you can't. Uh, let's see. We got rubber. I remember that one. That was a weird one. That was that was a good one. Um, oh yeah. Say, what a cartoon! I, there, there's been a few of them I've been wanting to do, but that's uh, that 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 really has had really nothing to. That's really not a big thing on that one. We got Secret in M two. We got Strange Magic. We got Theodore. The Theodore, who the fuck put that one on there? What? Uh, what Theodore Rex. Or Rex. Uh, see that one on here. We get. Um, green light trailers. We've got the Lone Ranger. We've got oh, and this is another one here. This was another one of my ideas. Um, the uh, bad entertainment gameplay. That that's where I just find other oh, yeah. uh, other games that 
I could probably just do playthroughs of and record myself and just upload them. We could just comment on that one there. You want to try and do that? Uh, uh, sure. I, I suppose mean, that, that like depends, that depends on your if you if you want to you know actually record. I guess like I mean it depends on your schedule, but that's something I'm gonna have to to work on because I don't have any other edutainment games that I could because I I don't actually have another list yet. I mean when I went to the the first one I I actually had an idea of like some of the games because yeah. like I, I I honestly knew that okay I know I wanted to cover Cat and Noble in at least, um uh, but I I don't really have a second list of uh of games that I want to go over. Um I, I still want to do that at some point. I just don't have I just don't I know I'm what I want to do in regards to bad games on that one. Um, let's see. We've got Garbage Pail Kids movie. I understand that's a horrible one. Oh. Let's say we've had some that we've been wanting to do, I think, at some point. I think that was on the list for quite some time, like the Sonic fan film, uh, Dusk Dawn, so on and so forth. Uh, we've had the core... Uh, Oh man, my mother! Oh man, that's a that's a bad one right there. Ugh. Oh god, yes. Which one? You were saying my mother, the car. <laughs> well, guess to uh, you want to do that one? I mean, just pick uh, pick whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here next weekend, so. Uh. Oh, why not? I uh, I work. I, that's my weekend to work. Oh. I can usually only be here every other week for these. Uh, let's see. Well, if, and knock out something that's been on here for for a while. Um. Let's see. If we're gonna if we're gonna that's terrible and something that's been on this list for quite some time. Uh, let's go ahead and go with this uh, Ratatong here. That that's been on there for like oh, since forever. Oh God! Because <laughs> that that's been on this list for forever, and I know that one's a horrible one. And we might as well just go ahead and get that one out of the way. Sounds. What do you say, guys? What do you say, guys? Fuck it, Yolo. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be here, so you will enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What have I subjected us to? Precisely. <laughs> okay. Kind of paste that down there. There we go. Put that on the. Oh no! You've already done that for me. Okay, <laughs> thank <quick> you. Fingers. <laughs> okay. Oops. Accidentally copied the background too. I gotta get the right background color now. There we go. Okay. Well, there we go. So then, uh, make sure to join us next week for uh, more CQ Riffs, where we'll be doing ratat. Rat what was it? Rat rat ratatowing. Ratatowing. I think. I have no idea. Ratatowing. Obviously, rat it's, it sounds like it's a uh, some sort of rip off of ratatouille. It is. <laughs> and my suffering. Judging, judging by the name, so we've already had the uh, the Finding Nemo rip off. So I'll get to get to do a, a round. Oh, we have. One. Yeah. We, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, we watched Dizzy's Way Home a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Right before. Oh God. Right before Dory came out. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Well, with that, everyone, uh, make sure to join us next week for that. And uh, thanks for joining us today for uh, the first American Kickboxers. So, and like Mr. Ben said, if, if you have any suggestions for edu uh, the bad edutainment games uh, or any, any suggestions at all for anything that you've seen or heard about that you think would be a good thing for us to riff, uh, go ahead and you can send that to our email on our contact page on the website. You can send us an email with that, and we'll add it to our, uh, add it to our list here of... Uh, of stuff we want to subject ourselves to watching. So, yeah, there we go. Mr. Ben just posted it in the chat there. So make sure to send us anything if you have any ideas or if you see anything online that's kind of crazy and uh, you want us to, uh, to look at. Uh, it could be a movie, a TV show, a game, hopefully something that we can easily get access to, um, to seeing. Uh, 
Yeah. Just let us know, and we uh, will add it to the list, and maybe do it sometime in the future. Yeah, Matt. Matt also suggested maybe we should also do read, read and joke on bad comic books. Like I post that Kentucky Fried Chicken comic that DC did, and Matt Matt posted that for Matt yeah, I mean, suggests Matt suggests that we could do that one sometime. Yeah, I guess, uh, just add it to the uh, add it to the uh, the doc there, and then uh, yeah. So that way we we know it's there. Um, so yeah, so if you have anything, send it that. Thanks for joining us, uh, today. Uh, I might hop on later for something, I don't know, but I'm gonna go play some Pokemon Go outside for a bit, so. Um, because <laughs> I finally, after like four days, was able to actually log in, so. That's fun. So, uh, I'm, th- huh? I said, yeah, I'm planning on using that when I'm over at work today. I'm gonna be, oh, uh. yeah, that's good. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully they'll have a lot of. Uh, if if it's a little more populous of an area with businesses or something, they'll have some gyms or uh, pokey centers there. Because I, I was at a, um, I was at work last night and I was, I actually had to wind up doing like a thirteen hour shift of all things, um, oh. but I wound up, I wound up going doing Pokemon Go both at the hotel and at the uh, location I was sent to around eleven to from like eleven to seven last night. And uh, I really didn't find a whole lot at the the second one, but the hotel had like a bunch of Pokemon. That was where I actually caught a Toro set of all things. <laughs> the, ho- the hotel was infested with Pokemon. <laughs> um. But yeah, stuff around my area. Like the the closest gym to me is actually like a small park that's about a mile or two. And believe it or not, the second gym is a McDonald's. That's like a block away from the from the park. The closest gym you know, is, a, is a water tower, which I think is. Like- I wonder what do they have at at the first Ingress Portal location in Mountain View for Pokemon Go? I may have to go around and walk. Gonna find out. See. Nintendo making you exercise. So. God damn it! Damn you, Nintendo! <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm going to for like here. 20 fucking years, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I better get going, too. Yeah, so, so thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, I'll see you around. Have a great, uh, great evening, everyone. See you, Later. guys. Later, folks. <laughs>